Well, hi everyone, and thanks for coming back to the channel. So, a couple of videos ago, I said I was gonna try and get onto the Mark Harris chain. Well, I have had a couple of clear nights and managed to get on that target, and tonight I might be lucky enough to get a third night. So, uh, it's supposed to be clear later. It's cloudy at the moment, and the wind is a little bit strong, so I'm worried with this scope here that it might get battered around a little bit in the wind. So I really need that to die down. Um, as soon as it's dark enough and the clouds are gone, I will start my sequence going. I'm shooting in mono. I've got the LRGB anti-air filters, the three nanometer filters in, and hopefully I can get a few more eyes out of this target. So let's see how that goes. Right, so I'm gonna quickly go over this rig and show you all the equipment that I'm using. Right, so we start with the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. And there we have the Ioptron iPolar for my polar alignment, which I haven't done for about three months. I probably need to check that. Um, got the ADM upgraded saddle. And then on top of that is the Skywatcher Esprit 120. It's 840 mil, but it's currently got the reducer flattener on, which is down to 650. So uh, the guide scope is the Skywatcher Evo Guide uh, 50 EV and the guide camera is the 120 mini and then we got the Pegasus power box for my power distribution and there's a couple of do straps one on the main scope and one on the guide scope so as we come down here we've got the ZWO electronic focuser and running right the rig is a mini PC that's the Mealy Quieter 3 mini PC and I've recently put this on. I used to have the ASIR Plus on here, but I've switched over to Nina now, and I've got this mini PC in its place. It's working very well. And then we've got, that's the flattener reducer. And then there's a seven position, 36 mil filter wheel. And in there is a set of Anglia filters, LRGB, S2, HA, and O3. And right at the bottom here is the 2600 mm pro camera and that is the rig all ready to go it's all connected to nina already and i'm just waiting for it to get dark so i can start it all off right and over here is my arduino which is directly wired up to the mini pc so it's uh, all rigged up to Wi-Fi and talking to Nina. So between Nina and the mini PC and this Arduino here, it controls my roof. These are the cables going up to it. These are the magnetic switches, which tells Nina whether the roof is either opened or closed. And Nina can control the roof and open and shut it for me in a sequence, which is very useful. So I should run this probably tonight until about uh, three o'clock in the morning. And then hopefully uh, when the sequence finishes, uh, Nina will shut the roof for me, which is very useful. So this, is, this has been working really well for me. And um, it's, it's a great addition to have this observatory and to have it fully automated like this. And the next thing I want to get is a rain sensor or a rain and cloud sensor. So that'll all be connected as well. And then hopefully if we get a rogue uh, rain cloud come over, um, Nina will be able to shut the roof for me. Anyway, that's the plan, that's in the future, so we'll see how that one goes. So I'm now gonna get indoors on the PC and I'll be able to run everything from there, so nothing else I can do it here. This is all on and ready. Uh, I've got the catchers for my roofer off. They've been on the last couple of days because of the wind, but they're all off and ready, so the roof can be opened uh, as soon as we're ready to go, and I can just let it do its thing, and I shall stay indoors in the warm because it is quite cold out here. And uh, that sky, yeah, it's not brilliant, but I think it's getting better, so fingers crossed, and we can get imaging fairly soon. So let's get in on the PC. Right, so let's, Go on to Google Remote Desktop, log into the observatory, and there's Nina. So I've got my sequence already set in, and my target is in. 
that's NGC 4438 which is Mark Carey's chain so I've set it to run until 345 and all I've got to do is hit the start button however it's still cloudy but I'm going to give it a go I'm going to chance it I'm just going to hit start and hopefully by the time the camera has called and uh, the scope has slewed around to the target hopefully the uh, sky will be clear ok so I'm now going to hit start here we go we're off right so there we go the roof is opening and now the camera is going to cool and uh, it should slew the scope round to the target so we're going to give this a few minutes and uh, then we'll come back to it. So finally I've managed to get my carry chain for 2024. If you've watched to the end of the video then a big thanks for sticking with it. Uh, if you're new to the channel I hope you found it interesting and uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button if you like this kind of thing. Uh, massive thanks to all of my existing subscribers and uh, I hope you like the video and hope you like the image at the end. So thanks again and as always I wish you all clear skies.